Hello, PID fans. We're going to give you a little demo of the PID tuning GUI. So we're on the command line here, and we can just call it simply by calling the GUI.py. But it starts up and gives us the stuff. And what does all that mean? Oh, no, it's just craziness. So we're going to close that and say, God, I wonder if there's some help. And yes, we can just type minus H. And we get all kinds of help messages, yes. And we find that there are arguments that we can say minus P, minus I, minus D to set the initial values of P, I, and D parameters. We can set the ink depth if we like. And we have a describe option which tells you how to tune the PID. It's unbelievable. So now that we got all that straight, let's start it up again with no options and see what it does. So we have our PID, and now we're getting our messages from the... Uh, the demo code telling us what it's doing and what's going on what the current values are and if we click here on the PID GUI we can change these values live so let's change the KI value I don't know if you can see it add one to it and now it's one we can see that it was repercuted at the uh, yes it's correct we add another one immediately goes up there and we can take a, we can add a little tiny value here and a tiny value there and see what the values are on the GUI here and what the system believes they are to be. Yes, they're all correct. That's all very beautiful. And what happens now if we try to make some negative values? Well, that's not going to work because negative values are forbidden in PID. So you see, it will stop at zero. Let's move it back up to here. And now we've got some really good values that we're going to want to keep. But how will we remember once we turn it down? Well, we shut it down. And what happens? We get the final values Output, output here on the screen. All right, now, what if we got to use those values again? Well, we can just say minus p as 1, minus i as 2.001, and minus d as 1. So you see that? Using those options, we can start it with new values. And what do we get? Just what we thought. So we can start where we left off the previous time without having to uh, struggle and write things down on pieces of paper. That's about all as far as we're concerned with the GUI. Oh yeah, we can try this famous option, describe. How, what does that do? That tells you how to tune a PID. Yes, and this gives you very simple instructions which you can, anyone can follow anyone who can read in simple instructions and follow instructions, I mean. Oh, there's one last thing I can show you, and it's the ink depth. So here we have an ink depth argument. We're going to, by default, it's four, but if we want to have smaller steps, we can go to six. And now we see that we have 10 to the minus six as our smallest one. We can also make it, if we don't need so many steps, we prefer to have less, we can do it, for example, only two, and we get only 10 to the minus 1, sorry, because it's 2 minus 1. So, okay, those are other arguments that we get. And uh, everything else is just so cool. I hope you enjoyed it. Thank you. Oh, there they are.